This is my everyday carry as a software engineering student. Welcome to my university EDC. First up is my M3 MacBook Pro. This is basically my lifeline as a software engineering student. I use it for literally everything. Coding assignments, building my startup, editing videos, you name it. I can go from morning classes straight through to late night without needing to charge it, which is huge when you're using it almost all day. I got it with upgraded RAM to 16GB because the base for the M3 generation was 8GB, which honestly shouldn't even be an option for a computer in 2025. I went with silver this time, which is different for me since I usually go all black with my tech, but I like how it contrasts with the rest of my setup. This MacBook handles a lot of my work, like school projects, working on my startup, and it's actually solid for taking notes when I don't feel like pulling out my iPad. At home, I use it as a second monitor extending from my ultra wide, but what I really love is how portable it is. I can grab it and take it anywhere without thinking twice. I feel like once you're in the Apple ecosystem, it's hard to leave. The little things just make life easier, like copying something on my phone and pasting it on my laptop, smooth airdrop file transfers, and being able to respond to texts on my Mac. It all just works together without having to think about it. Next up is my fifth generation iPad Air. I picked this up in my first year of university specifically for taking notes in class, and it's been super helpful for following along with lecture slides while jotting down some notes. But honestly, what I found even more useful was using it for written assignments instead of traditional pen and paper. This is a game changer if you have horrible handwriting like me. It actually makes my writing somewhat readable. I'm using it with a magnetic case I got from Apple. Tell me how when I told the Apple Store employee that the case doesn't seem very safe if ever I drop my iPad since the edges aren't protected, she told me it's okay because I have Apple Care. Needless to say, I haven't dropped it, so we'll wait until I run into that issue. Here's my honest take. If you're thinking about getting an iPad for school and you specifically want to ditch pen and paper for assignments, go for it. But if you just want it for note taking during lectures, your laptop can honestly do the same job for way less money. Next up is my iPhone 11, which I've had since 2020. I'm definitely due for an upgrade, but I'm not in a rush yet, though I might upgrade soon since I'm getting more into content creation and having a better everyday phone to film on would definitely help. Also, quick PSA, if you're planning on keeping your phone for years like I did, get more storage. I'm struggling with 64 gigabytes over here, and honestly, 64 gigabytes of storage on a phone in 2025 should be illegal. Next up are my first generation AirPods Pro. And honestly, these have given me the highest return on investment out of everything in my EDC. I use them literally every single day. I'm someone who needs to block out external noise to focus, so I'll throw on some classical music with noise cancellation when I'm working in public spaces. I also use them on my commute to school and at the gym. I'm actually surprised how long I've had these without any issues. The noise cancellation still works great at blocking out background noises. You can tell by looking at the wear and tear on the case itself that I've had these AirPods for a while and I've dropped them many times and that the case definitely did its job. For my daily watch, I wear this Seiko that I picked up a while back. It served me well and has a super minimal design that goes with pretty much any outfit. I like that it's simple and has a classy look to it without being too expensive. It's also water resistant so no need to worry about damaging it while washing your hands. I always carry a rechargeable battery pack on me. This one right here is from Anchor and it's served me well for many years now. You can clearly tell it's been through it. I usually throw this in my bag carelessly and doing this for many years has caused lots of marks on the battery pack. However, it still works perfectly fine. Its charge lasts a very long time and allows me to fill up my phone about 3 times before needing to recharge. This has come in so clutch so many times at school whenever I needed to recharge my phone. I'm a bit obsessive about keeping my screens clean, so I always carry a microfiber cloth and a screen cleaner with me. Whether it's my phone, laptop, or iPad, I always want my displays looking clean. The brand I use is called Woosh and it's been my go-to for years now, and I'm pretty sure it's what the Apple Store uses to clean their products in store. I also always have a notebook on me. I use this to plan out my tasks for the week and time box my day. Call me old school, but I've tried tons of digital methods and apps, but keeping it simple like this just works best for me. 
There's something about writing things down by hand that helps me stay organized. Last but not least, the backpack that carries all of this, the Herschel Little America. It has the perfect amount of space since I don't carry too many things with me and I like to keep my EDC super light and this bag delivers. It comes with a dedicated laptop pouch and the build quality is really solid. I also just like the aesthetic. There are two bottle holders which is perfect since I can carry my water bottle in one and my coffee in the other. So that's my everyday carry as a software engineering student. The key for me is keeping it simple and making sure that everything that I carry actually serves a purpose. These items have genuinely made my student life easier. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe for more content just like this.